Hello and welcome to highlights of Strada Bianchi, round five of the Women's World Tour for 2023. Lotte Capecchi looking to defend her title and on great form after her win in Umlup Het Newsblad a week ago. 31.6 of the 136 of Strada Bianchi are on the famous white gravel roads of Tuscany. The final three, the Monte Aperti, the Colli Pinzuto and Le Tolfe are always decisive before that run in towards Siena. We climb with 1,750 metres to go through the Fonte Branda gate and then that 900 metres. We have that steep climb of Via Santa Catarina, which ramps up to 16% and then those final twists and turns and downhill to the line. It was Carline Swinkles of Jumbo Visma that took off with 46.9 kilometres to go. The former World Junior Time Trial champion looking to give herself a bit of sliding room with the Monte Aperti ahead. A small chasing group behind allowed Kristen Faulkner of the USA to go clear. In only a second road race, cyclocross sensation in the green, Puck Peterson was looking good out on the course. A lot of pressure on her young shoulders, though. Kristen Faulkner crossed the gap up to Carline Swinkles as they headed towards Monte Aperti. There was a lot of attacking in the group behind, particularly from riders such as Silvia Persico in those blue and pink colours of the UAE ADQ. Faulkner, though, dropped Carline Swinkles. It was time for the American to go it alone. She was holding a gap of a minute and 50 seconds on the Monte Aperti, a 13% gradient. Behind, Team Movistar were looking to try and set things up. Peter those cyclocross and mountain bike sensation, was looking great for the Fenix de Koenig team and showing what a great career she has ahead of her if she should switch her attention also to road racing. Faulkner great time trialist is the American was holding her gap over the chasing group behind. Twice a winner of Strada Bianchi in the rainbow jersey. Annemiek van Vluten hit the front. She had teammate Liana Lippert in the group. Peterson though went over the top in the front. Cecily Utrup Ludwig in the red and white Danish champions jersey was in the mix. Heading in towards uh, the Colipin Zuto and Damie Vollering took off on her own. Could she cross the gap up to Kristen Faulkner? Pedersen, Lippert, Nuvia Doma, Utrup Ludwig, Van Vluten all in that group behind. Vollering though, didn't have it all her own way as a horse. Made it on to the course, she would make it safely past. Faulkner though was holding the gap. They went in to the final section of gravel, La Tolfe, with ramps up to 18%. This was a point with Vollering just ahead. The Lotta Kopecki went clear. Cecily Trupp Ludwig left it a fraction too late before she started to chase. The FTJ Suez rider would almost make it up to the two leaders. It was a case of team time trials all round with SD Works. Vollering and Kopecki and Van Vluten and Lippert chasing behind. This was about as close as Cecilia Trupp Ludwig got to the two SD works. Riders had had to dig so deep to try and cross the gap. As we headed in towards Siena, Vollering and Kopecki were working hard, but Kristen Faulkner was not going down without a fight, and the American would lead all the way in to the final climb. What would the team tactics be? Faulkner moving across to the barriers would force Damie Vollering back and had to go left. Kopecki last year came in to Siena and had to sprint it out with Annemiek van Vluten. Had SD Works given the order that both riders were just to go for it into the finish. They crested the top of the climb and 300 metres to go. There is then the final turn with 100 to go. It dips down by 7%. The two teammates, though, were sprinting it out and it came down to the throw to the line. It was a photo finish, but it would be Damie Vollering that got the measure of teammate Kopecki and would take the 2023 edition of Strider Bianchi. Great ride, though, by Kristen Faulkner, a late addition to the Jayco Alula team, takes a podium, and there you have it. Kopecki through first, Vollering timed it to perfection and just got the measure of her teammate on the line.
confirmation of your result. Damy Vollering takes it from Lotta Kopecky and Kristen Faulkner. With Uttrup Ludwig, Van Vluten, Peterson, Nubia Doma, Lippert, Marcus and Georgie, your top 10. Smiles all round on the podium. Damy Vollering takes Strada Bianchi ahead of teammate Lotta Kopecky. With Jaco Alulu's Kristen Faulkner taking third. The stunning city of Siena and the Piazza del Campo takes you back to the 13th century, delivers us once again an epic edition of Strada Bianchi.